Now let's create a job and look at the various steps that are involved in this and also look at the amount of power that you have here with these jobs. Now in the previous video we created an operator and we'll use that operator in this job. So to create one, I go under SQL Server Agent, I will right click Jobs and choose New Job. Notice this gives me a dialog box for my job and there's a fair amount of navigation here. First of all you'll notice I have some general properties to set. First of all the name of my job and I'm going to call this Mark's job, okay? The owner is me and I can choose someone else if I would like. The category, now notice I can just categorize this and I'm going to call it database maintenance and I'm going to say uh, backup sales and Mark databases. So I'm going to create a job to back up these two databases and notice Here's the on off switch for this job. This means it's enabled, obviously means it's working. Now, once I've got that, I don't want to click OK. I want to click Steps. I want to work my way down the uh, navigation stream there. So notice, now my job can have multiple steps. So the first thing I want to do is create a new step. So I'll click on New. and It'll take a second. Now here's the step. Now on this step, I'm going to say Backup Sales database. Now notice the type job I can put in here, the type step. This can be an ActiveX script which means I can write VB script, J script or other. And so I can put this in there. I can do uh, notice operating system command which means I can call batch files as long as I know where they're at. Or T SQL script and that's what I'm going to do. I am simply going to back up a database the sales database to disk and I'll put it in the sales BAK and I'll put it on the H drive. Okay, now notice I can parse this command to see if it will work and it says it successfully parsed. It shouldn't have any trouble running it. Okay, now I OK this and I've created a step called backup sales database. Now I'm going to do another step a new step again and I will call this backup mark database and again I will put I could have copied that database mark to disk equals there we go I'll parse that one did okay there so notice now I have two steps now if I want this step to be second I can just simply move it down or I can move it up so you notice I can set this however I want to. If I come back and say, hey, wait a minute, there's something I forgot to set here on the sales database because you'll notice out here I have some instructional things on what to do if there's a success or a failure. Well, notice I don't have these right. On this one, when it succeeds, I want to go to the next step. And if it fails, I want to report a failure. That's fine. And when the backup on mark hits, I want to do something different. So let's go edit that. And you'll notice in here there's an advanced section, and I can tell it. On success, I want to quit and report success. Now notice, on each individual job step, I can retry it one time and I can wait two minutes to retry. On a failure, quit the job and report failure. And then I can put output files for SQL script. I can log to a table. I can include step and output history. I can do all kinds of things, okay? I can log this to a particular table. Lots of things I can do with these things. And so for now, I'll click here. Notice if, I, if I'm if i successful here, let's go to the next step on this one, which will bring us down here. And then we'll quit recording, reporting success if we're good. Here I'll quit reporting failure either way. Next, schedule. When do I want this job to run? Now notice I can click New here and give this a schedule. This is the Mark job schedule. Mark's job schedule. And notice I want this to be, I've got some choices here. I can start this automatically when SQL Server starts, Agent starts. I can start it when the CPU becomes idle or I can have it recurring or I can have one time. Well on recurring I can tell it to run every Monday and every Friday at 12 a.m. And what date do I want this to start on? And what end date do I want it to have? And I can give it a particular end date. And so I can say OK there. I'm going to make this one time. And so now I have a schedule. Notifications. 
When the job completes, let's do a net send to Mark. Remember the operator I set up? And let's do a net send when the job succeeds. Now let's also write to the application log when the job succeeds. And notice I can even automatically delete the job when it succeeds if I want to, if I just want to do it one time. And so I will say OK there, and in the next video, we'll actually run this job and then look at some of the tweaks that we can do to it with some of the properties.